Okay, kitchens. So I cook a lot. I love cooking. Obviously, a lot of the blog is shot in the kitchen. So um, when Prince and I were talking about the kitchen, we knew that we would be doing pretty much a full kitchen reno. So that was the really exciting part was we knew we could really sort of go for it and mm -hmm. um, really uh, you know, allow a vision to come to fruition. I love a real mix between super modern but not in a really cold way. Um, and so I knew I wanted that. I knew I wanted something super um, kind of like iconic that made a big impact, but also was neutral enough that we could, you know, dress it to different seasons, different holidays. Um, so that was a challenge, but I think, you know, it got pulled off pretty well. Absolutely. I mean, I think the kitchen is probably one of my favorite rooms. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all my favorite rooms, but the kitchen is just so gorgeous with the urban electric Dover ball pendants. Those which were our Everything. next level yeah <laughs> in every way but yeah. worth it um and you know it was really fun to look at the kitchen from scratch it's so different than what it was originally mm -hmm. but yet you kept a lot of the same cabinetry mm -hmm. and um it just feels like a homey kitchen yet super chic and elegant with the dark mm -hmm. benjamin moore soot island and that gorgeous marble oh yeah i think my favorite sort of element of the entire kitchen space is just the gorgeous polycore white Cherokee marble. I mean, it yes. has such a personality um, in itself and it's just gorgeous. And it was so, I got to go and actually visit the quarry where it comes from. And it's the same quarry where the National Monument marble is Amazing. from. So it has <laughs> such a place in American history. And I feel so honored to have a piece of that in our home and especially in our historical home, mixing old and new and bringing, um, bringing that into play uh, is just super special for me. And um, we love, we just love the kitchen. Yeah, it's a great place. It's got that fireplace and we wanted originally to do a seating area there, which we thought we could. And then we nixed that, but you know, all in all, I don't even think you need it because mm -hmm. of the stools are right there. And I can see you all on a winter day with a roaring fire and that amazing bull head. And, mm -hmm you know, just enjoying the smells of great cooking and family in that mm -hmm. room. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's interesting, you know, there weren't any sort of screaming challenges for that room. Mm -hmm. um, obviously the wall came down in between there and the living room, but I think the biggest thing was because it was such a blank slate, you know, the, the island was, there was no island, there was, there was nothing there. Yeah. So okay. to really have to decide how big we wanted it, how we wanted it situated, what type of storage we wanted in it. Um, that was all something that actually is a bit overwhelming when yeah. you have every opportunity to just design what you want. It's like a blessing, but it's also yes. a curse because locking something in is so much harder. Yep. Um, but I love how it turned out. We have a ton of storage, and um, which is what I need with all of my zillion yeah. <laughs> platters and gadgets and things. Uh, but yeah, I just love it. I, it's, it's exactly the vibe I wanted for that space. And I think it's so family friendly, but so modern. Yeah, absolutely.